So we already we already kind of uh, talked about this. Any, the, the pore pressure at depth is just you know where earlier we we're talking about the the vertical stress is the bulk density. The pore pressure is just the integration of the water only. Right? And so uh, as an estimation, you could just use the density of water times g dz to get an estimation of the pore pressure. Again, this is the hydrostatic pore pressure. That's going to be 0.44 psi per foot. Um, so then sometimes we use this parameter lambda uh, to represent the, the ratio of the pore pressure to the vertical stress. Uh, that will be 0.44 because remember the vertical stress is like 1 psi per foot. Right? So you're, you're just dividing the pore pressure, which is 0 0.44, 0 0.44 psi per foot divided by 1 psi per foot. The units cancel and you get 0.44. Right? Um, the other case, so these are two idealized cases, and again, these are things you should memorize. When you hear hydrostatic, we have a hydrostatic pore pressure. That means 0.44 psi per foot, or the ratio is 0.44. And when you hear lithostatic, again, this can never be achieved in reality, but sometimes we use it as an approximation. You have a lithostatic, then the ratio of the pore pressure to the vertical stress is 1. And you can never have anything greater than one. Yeah. What about the previous slide? The stress field? Yeah. Did you say that one more time why you're not sure if that's what it is? Oh, no, no. It's, it's just I, I don't remember. Uh, oh, it's one of the two. It's one of the two. Okay. I'd have to go back and look at the, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I try to, in all the figures I borrow, I mean, in, in all the figures I use, I always try to, to have a reference, and these are active hyperlinks on the HTML. So if you go there and you click, um, it should take you to the paper where I took this from, or, or in this case, it's a website, right? So you can you could you know we just have to go read the legend. I just forgot. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. This is pretty common. So this is an actual, uh, you know, wrong plot, but an actual plot of, of uh, depth as a function of pressure. Uh, not really. But uh, this is an actual plot of data from the Gulf of Mexico. And this is pretty typical of the Gulf of Mexico. So you'll see an in initial hydrostatic region uh, and then an overpressurized region that goes down and then uh, what approaches something that's almost lithostatic. So it's not quite, but it's almost lithostatic. 0.91 is the ratio between the pore pressure and right? so vertical stress. So again, if it was perfectly lithostatic, the slope of that line would be identical to the vertical stress, and it's not quite the case. Right? Um, what's the reason for this in the Gulf of Mexico? Overpressure. We're going to talk about mechanisms for overpressure more, but in this case, it's something called uh, disequilibrium compaction. But you know, what, for, without the fancy words, um, fluid's always going to move or diffuse in a porous media according to Dawson's law, right? And so, if you're piling on overburden faster then that fluid can diffuse away. Then you're going to get an increase in pressure. Right? So in the Gulf of Mexico, why am I piling on sediment faster than the fluid can diffuse? Mississippi River. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Mississippi River is producing sediment faster than sort of time constant of fluid diffusion in those, in those basins. So, um, and we'll talk more about that. That's pretty common. Um, I think this is the last slide. This is a, a field in Egypt, and it's, it's pretty deep. I think it's uh, 15,000 uh, feet. Uh, but here, what you'll see is these regions where you have almost lithostatic, and then almost hydrostatic, and then almost lithostatic, and almost hydrostatic, and almost lithostatic, and almost hydrostatic. And so this is from due to compartmentalization, where you have like a shale layer, 
compartmentalizing a sand layer, and the sand is highly permeable, right? So sand layer is almost like a column of water, and there you get hydrostatic pore pressures as you go down. So we'll stop there. <laughs>